Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Gamer Movie Show. My name is Sean, and today I'm here to review the Beauty and the Beast trailer. It just released an hour ago. I saw it, and like Disney, and this is like um the second tier of Disney trying to redo all. No, no, this be the this be the third one. They've already done Cinderella over again, which was actually a pretty lovely movie. I watched it, and believe it or not, I watched the Cinderella movie, and it's actually a pretty lovely movie. It's you know, it's it's cheesy, of course. It has the Cinderella moments, but as a live-action adaptation of this, it's definitely better than that bullshit that Brandy made back in the day. Britney, I think, from that weird show Britney, she made a, a series where she was a black woman doing it, and that was stupid as hell. When I was a kid, I thought it was cool, but it's stupid as hell. It's definitely better than... I'd say that Cinderella is definitely better than any other live action one. It's got an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes, so obviously other people liked it too. Then, of course, there's the Jungle Book. The Jungle Book was a smash hit. It was awesome. I loved it. The effects were so cool. I've got, I've never felt so such emotions for animals talking. When he was leaving his mom, that wolf, and she was like, you're mine. I don't care what the hell you are. You're my cub. And I was just like, oh, that's so fucking awesome. But anyways, moving on to Beauty and the Beast. So after Disney pulled off what they did in, um... Jungle Book, I was like, okay, you know what, Beauty and the Beast doesn't seem too hard to pull off, other than the Beast and the teapots and shit, that's the only problem I had, I was wondering how they're going to do the teapot, I was wondering how they're going to do the Beast, and I can confirm right now that they did those magnificently, I love the way the Beast looks, he looks human enough that you can actually get some acting, like, like I'm glad that they didn't make him full on, like, meh, like, go crazy with the CGI in his face, you can tell it's like um capture, but like you can tell that like um the actor actually gets to be on screen and act with the um person. Because sometimes they can go super CGI and like it's basically an actor talking to a ball. But no, no, you can tell that the, he's got the dots and shit because his facial expressions and everything, which is cool. I like the way he looks. He looks just like the Beast in the. Mo it is really. I will admit, and I was a little questioning um. Emma, no, not uh, um. Who's the girl? The girl from Harry Potter is on playing um Beauty um and this is playing you know classic the Beauty. She's the Beauty and Beauty and the Beast. Um, I'm trying to remember her name. Emma, is it Emma? No, it's not a Mining Ranger. That's her name. And um, I can't remember her name right now. It'll come to me. It'll come back to me when, when I do when um me when I review when I um ask Seth and Mark what he thinks about it. But like, I love the way she looks. I was questioning her, but like the more like I compare. Like, the picture, because, like, I like, while I was watching, I literally took my phone out, because I was watching it on my tablet, and looked at, you know, the original Beauty and the Beast pictures, and I'm like, they look spot on. She looks just like the Beauty from Beauty and the Beast. She looks just like her, and then they, 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 they redo some iconic shots, especially the shot of her in that yellow dress, dancing with him in the ballroom. That is so iconic. There's going to be a lot of singing in this, I can already tell. Like, there's they've already seen some, some scenes of singing, and they've shown some scenes of, like, um... Like, like, I'm pretty sure they're gonna, some music's gonna play in that ballroom song, Beauty and the Beast, I mean, who doesn't know that fucking song, and, um, I think, like, like I said, nothing about this trailer was shocking or, like, revolutionary or anything, like, was shocking, but I will admit, I like the way the teapots look, I like the way the teapot, I like the way the, um, the, yeah, the candle look, I like the way all of that stuff look, because it, because it could have been very cartoonish, it could have came off stupid, it could have came off awful, but I like the way they did it, they did it in a way where it, it's like, as if the teapot was designed with a face on the side, you know how, like, some classical old, like, um, teapots and stuff, like, um, this right here, and this is something my mom has, yeah, it has all this engraving and stuff on the side of it, like, they did it so if, like, the teapot's face was like this engraving and stuff on the side of it. It just happened to be engraved on the side of it, which I like because when it's moving ever so slightly and mo mo it's moving, I'm like, okay, it's not so freaky because it's ingrained on the side of it. So basically it's just, you know, but I like the way they did that because they could have just went all fucking nuts with it and had eyeballs and shit. But no, no, it's just engra it's a face engraved on the side of it. Could be just one of those old class. It could be you you just find this any uh, at an antique store and it just happens that it be alive. Now I hope they bring up the fact that I feel so bad. Like I'm gonna just bring this up now. One of my biggest flaws with the Beauty of the Beast in general as a story was the fact that all of his people working for him got fucked over just because of something he did. I'm not gonna spoil it for you because some people, believe it or not, in this generation, some people have not seen Beauty of the Beast. So this is gonna be like you know something I like about Disney. Like no one's bringing this up. Something I really, I really admire about Disney redoing all of these movies is that. It gives them a chance to reintroduce these classical um, movies to people who haven't seen them. Some people have never seen Cinderella. Some people have never seen The Jungle Book. Some people have never seen Beauty and the Beast. 
And I can't wait, because the next movie, I think, is probably going to be Aladdin. Then they're going to do Milan. Then they're going to do, um... Then they're going to do Little Mermaid. And then they're going to do The Lion King. Those are the four movies coming up. The Beauty and the Beast trailer, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Nothing in it happened that, you know, quite shocked me or surprised me or showed me anything that I didn't expect to happen. I liked the kind of chemistry between her and the Beast. I like... Uh, there's a guy character named Luke Evans who was in this, and if you don't know who Luke Evans is, he's the he's the he was from Dracula Untold. He was Dracula in Dracula Untold, and he's playing Gaston, you know that asshole that she was supposed to marry but she didn't because she fell in love with the Beast, and he gets all like, ah fuck that Beast, I'm gonna kill that Beast anyways. That guy, that's who he's playing. I was like, okay, cool, 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 that makes sense. He could do that, he could do that, he could sing too, from what I heard. Apparently he can. It looks like he's gonna do a lot of singing. But anyways, Beauty and the Beast, what did you think of the trailer? That's my thoughts on the trailer. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comment below what was your favorite part of the trailer. And do you think it can compare to the original? Because the original Beauty and the Beast does not get enough credit. That movie won an Oscar. <laughs> That's like the first movie that won an Oscar. Then the Lion King came and fucked everything up. Because Lion King was like was ridiculous. But that was back when animated movies won Oscars. Like when animated movies were considered art. Nowadays, animated movies aren't, you know... I don't know why they're not, because they should still be considered art, you know? Like, things like Inside Out are very deep, and things like, um... You know, these different movies that Pixar makes are so... Most of them are pretty, um, you know, interesting. But anyways, moving on, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for joining me on the Comic Game Movie Show.